So are you still running Windows 7 on your computer? Why? Microsoft says update by January 15th or you're not gonna get any support for your Windows 7 computer ever again. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what happens if you don't upgrade and how you can upgrade for completely no additional cost. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content. So eventually Microsoft's gonna start not supporting Windows 7 systems going forward. They're not gonna support any kind of tech support. They're not supporting any kind of updates or security patches. And if you're running a Windows 7 system that can leave you completely vulnerable to viruses and malware and anything bad that's on the internet that wants to get into your system and completely disrupt your information and your data. So if you are still running a Windows 7 system, I'm not sure why you'd be running a Windows 7 system, but if you still are running a Windows 7 system, now might be the best time for you to consider upgrading to Microsoft Windows 10. But I know your question is, is there gonna be a cost for you to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10? The short answer, no. Actually, it's gonna be free of charge and I'm gonna tell you exactly how. So the cool thing is that because Microsoft is ending support for Windows 7, anybody that has a licensed version of Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 can still actually update your systems completely for free, no additional cost. I'm gonna go ahead and put some instructions in the description of this video so you can follow those instructions to upgrade your system. The only caveat, it has to be a licensed version of their operating system. So for all you piraters out there, you're out of luck but you're piraters anyway, so you're probably just gonna go download Windows 10, so you're, you should be fine. For everybody else, instructions are gonna be in the description of this video. Now, I know the other question you guys are asking is, what if you wanna keep your Windows 7 system? Again, why? But I know some of you may have applications or just a system that doesn't support updating to Windows 10 and you wanna hang on to your Windows 7 system for a bit longer. There are some steps you can actually take to make your system as secure as it can be when it's no longer supported by Microsoft. One of the first things I would suggest is make sure you're using an updated router. Make sure your router is not outdated. Make sure it's getting patches from the manufacturer and update your router as much as possible. If you guys need assistance with updating your router, either reach out to your ISP or reach out to the router manufacturer and they'll walk you through some steps to make sure your router has the latest firmware installed. Check your permissions on the accounts that you're using on your Windows system as well. Make sure you're not using administrative accounts for everything because those have full access to your computer. If somebody gains access to those accounts, it can be really bad. And also you wanna make sure you have an antivirus on your computer because those things can prevent a lot of problems from happening and make sure you use that antivirus antivirus by running weekly scans on your computer to make sure nothing is compromised and also make sure the antivirus stays as up to date as possible. You also want to make sure your system BIOS is as updated as possible as well. This is a little bit more advanced so if you need some help doing that let me know or you can just google it like everybody else Googles everything. You'll find it on the internet and you'll find instructions on how to update your system BIOS based on your computer. You wanna consider using some kind of firewall software as well. Microsoft does have a Windows firewall that you can load onto your Windows 7 system that can keep you protected from outside threats. You also wanna disable any kind of applications that you're not using like Adobe Flash Player or QuickTime Player or anything that you're just not using. Disable it, get it off because that's another vulnerability that's on that computer that can cause you trouble. Don't download anything that you don't know Know that's I guess common sense just don't download anything onto your computer and make sure if you go to a website and an auto download initiate to get that off your computer as quickly as possible and you may want to consider using a browser with privacy in mind so that's like Google Chrome Firefox is actually pretty good but I would stay away from like Windows Explorer I don't know if anybody even uses Windows Explorer but if you do use Windows Explorer on a Windows 7 PC you should should not. You should definitely just move on to a browser like Chrome or Firefox. Those are pretty cool, secure browsers that you can use. And you also want to keep any applications that you kept in your system as updated as possible. Just because Windows 7 is no longer receiving updates doesn't mean the applications that you have in your system are no longer receiving updates. So you want to update any kind of application that you have, download those updates as quickly as possible in your system because those are other key vulnerabilities that can affect your system in the long haul. But despite all these safety measures you can put in place, my suggestion is to update as soon as possible. Using an outdated operating system that's no longer supported can be extremely dangerous, especially to the thing that's most valuable to you, which is your data. That's always going to be at risk when you're not receiving security patches and updates any longer. And you also want to update while it's still free. Who knows how long Microsoft is going to keep this free promotion going for updating from Windows 7, 8, 
and 8.1 to Windows 10. They may snatch it as soon as January 15th comes. So you want to upgrade as soon as possible. It may end up saving your data and it may end up saving you some money, which is never a bad thing. And just remember, as long as you keep an outdated operating system, you're at risk. So you want to make sure that you're not at risk. So update as soon as possible. So guys, let me know if you have any questions about updating from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Let me know if you have any questions about Microsoft pulling the plug on Windows 7 on January 15th of this year. You wanna share those in the comment section down below the video. If you have any tips for the community, go ahead and share that in the comment section as well. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to destroy that like button and also just kind of tap the subscribe button with the bell for notifications so you don't miss when release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys. Peace.